The Norman U87 has been one of the best microphones for a very long time. And now today we have other microphones trying to make clones like the UT Twin 87. Now I have not used this microphone before, but this is gonna be the first time. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and show you exactly what this thing sounds like, just going through a couple EQs and seeing if this thing is actually worth the price. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about more videos like this. Make sure you guys check out the music Game.com. That's my personal websites with templates, MIDI kits, loop kits, and mixing and mastering services to help you in your music creating process. Link in the description. All right, gang. So I have the UT Twin 87 here, and I have never used this thing, but one of you guys actually mentioned this in the comments that it was somewhat good enough to be a U87 or better. I don't know. We're gonna have to try that out today. Shout out to Z Sounds for sending this to me. They have a lot of great stuff on their website and a lot of great plans to help you get gear a lot sooner. So Z Sounds sent this to me, and I, and I really wanted to just try out this microphone to see if it was good enough to be a U87. I have a real Neumann U87 here and this is a really great microphone I don't know if you guys know this but this is one of my favorite microphones of all time if you don't have the budget to afford a U87 like why not just try out this thing this is a basically a clone of the U87 here once you order this thing this is exactly what it looks like this box here so you just take this out. And also, if you guys want to see a comparison of this microphone versus the U87, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Oh, man. Okay, you got a leather pouch here. That's pretty cool. Put your microphone in this. So, you know, one thing I'm noticing for sure that's different from the real U87, they give you a wooden box, like this thing right here, you know. Uh, a big wooden box, you know, this is a really great way to carry around your expensive gear. You know what I'm saying? And say it, gets, it starts bumping around stuff. You're going to be safe with this. With this, if you put the microphone in this and drop it, I can tell you right now, you're not going to have a great day. This thing feels pretty sturdy. I'm not going to lie to you. It feels like a very premium device. It doesn't feel cheap at all. So you get your stand here. Now this looks actually pretty similar to the real Neumann U87 stand. Again, if you guys wanna see that comparison video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Um, so let's go ahead and just plug this thing in. Right now, I'm using a Neve 1073 and a Distressor Compressor. I did a video on my settings, so make sure you click the card at the top right if you wanna see that video. So far, bro, this thing is a very, very beautiful device here. You know, you have your label here at the top showing you exactly what microphone this is. So let's go ahead and put this box out the way. You, also, you can see you get a little, you know, company sticker here, which is great. Now, the great thing about this microphone is that, you know, not only do you get the Norman U87 sound, but you get the old vintage sound as well. So, you know, that's pretty great. If you guys ever wanted to get that vintage sound, it's gonna be very expensive to get the old U87 sound. Or you can just get one of these things and you get close enough, you know what I'm saying? So you have the opportunity to switch from uh, the modern and the vintage sound by flipping this knob here. And that's pretty dope, man. You also get all the polar patterns. You got your figure eight, you got your cardioid and your omni which is pretty great. You got a negative 10 dB pad here. And I think this is very useful if you guys are recording like instruments and stuff like that. One time I had to record a, a saxophone. You know, that was my first time ever recording a saxophone. And I was very shocked that those things can get really loud. And I had to use like a 20 dB pad somewhere on my interface. Uh, I was using a, a TLM 103 at the time and that, don't, that doesn't have no pads on it. So, so the next thing you get is a high band pass if you wanna cut some of the lows off. That's a pretty great option if you guys don't have that on your interface or your preamp. So that's that's pretty good, man. And, you know, the logo looks pretty much similar to like a Neumann microphone, but, the, you know, they just have their little United thing in there. So that's pretty great, man. I'm really liking this thing, how it feels. Let's go ahead and just plug this into my Neve 1073 preamp and see how this thing opens up and sounds. And let's see if this is decent or not. All right, gang. So I have the UT Twin 87 here. And, you know, like I said, this is a very beautiful looking microphone. But how do you think this microphone sounds? Do, do you think it sounds like the U87? And again, I'm going to compare these two microphones with each other to see, you know, which one sounds better, if this is actually worth the price or not, or so you just save 
move up and get the Neumann U87. So far right now, I'm thinking this, this sounds like a decent microphone. I don't think it sounds exactly the same. I am getting some different sounds in the high end. In the mid, it sounds okay. You know, one thing for sure that I noticed as soon as I plug this microphone in, this material that they're using, I don't think it's the same as the real thing. I'm not sure yet until I do the video. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. But um, right now I have it set to the modern setting right now. This is supposed to sound like the Neumann U87 AI version, the new one. I'll go ahead and flip the switch to the vintage so it sounds like the old version. Which basically, you know, they're changing the power supply some kind of way where, you know, it actually has a different frequency response like the original Norman U87. I don't know all the details about that, but, you know, let me know what you guys think so far. You know, with the Vince's on, you know, it sounds a little bit more muffled. Personally, even with the real Vince's version of the U87 and the new one, I personally like the new one a little bit better because it sounds a little bit more brighter, more air at the top and all that kind of stuff. But hey, if you get this microphone, you get both of those microphones. Microphone, so that's pretty dope here or somewhat of it I don't know if you guys actually like the sound of this thing I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the figure eight pattern microphone check one two one two how do you like the sound you can hear me on the other side as well. What I'm gonna do is go through the EQ with like SSL channel real quick. All right gang, so I have the SSL channel here and you know, just gonna go through some of the EQs in here and just show you exactly what this microphone sounds like. And I'm up close and personal with it with no pop filter or anything like that. And let me just go ahead and just move around and go up and down as far as the high end. So you can see what kind of highs you get here. And um, yeah, let's just go through some of these frequencies and see you know, is this a cheap sounding microphone or does it sound like the U87? Now, one thing I got to let you guys know is that these guys actually made the capsule for this microphone. The original U87 is made with the K87 and I think they made their own KU87. So it's not the original parts from the actual microphone. Uh, so let's go through the mid frequencies here and you can hear what it sounds like. Another thing I got to mention with this microphone while I go through some of these EQs in here um, is that, you know, with the original U87, they have a transformer inside and that gives you great, colorful, beautiful, warm, nice sounds and stuff like that. With this microphone, they actually decided to make their own transformers inside so the parts in this microphone are not a hundred percent the same as the ones in the u87 but they're similar you know what i'm saying so you know at the end of the day you're getting a microphone that sounds somewhat close to it for a very very low price um but so far man i'm really liking the sound of this thing uh i know for sure if you're going to be using this microphone you're going to at least need to boost the gain up a little bit more than what you would on the actual u87 uh, I can tell that right now because, you know, the settings that I have for this clone on my Neve 1073 and Distressor Compressor are the exact same from my last video where I show you all the settings to get high quality vocals with the U87. And I have that put onto this microphone and I can tell you right now the levels are not the same. Um, th this is a much quieter microphone, even if I have it on the modern setting, um, you know, but hey you know this is seven hundred dollars 699 or around that price somewhere one thing i can say for using the u87 for a while now is that you know i have a, a very some people may say low i feel like i have a mid-range voice you probably understand what i'm saying but my voice hits the mid-range really really nicely and you know with the u87 being a, a more warm sounding microphone and mid-range boosted and all that kind of stuff even though it's a flat response on the frequency response and all that this microphone for sure does not really bring out my mid-ranges and stuff like that like i noticed with the u87 for sure i do notice the highs being up a little bit more than what i'm used to with the u87 but hey i don't know yet i haven't tested this and compared it to my u87 this is my first listen to this thing i have not unboxed this yet so this is my first time unboxing and trying it out but so far i think it sounds decent i think it sounds pretty good uh, my favorite setting so far is the vintage i like how the vintage sounds especially like if you're getting into doing uh you know rap vocals and stuff like that either one sounds great i would probably use if i was in a real recording situation with this microphone i would use the modern setting for like the lead vocal and then i would use the vintage setting for like 
background vocals or something like that just to get those vocals in the background and not too much in your face because the Ventures setting does sit a little bit more back in the mix let me know what you guys think about this microphone is it worth the price do you guys like it or not should i get the ua87 and compare it with this microphone and see which one sounds more like a u87 not gonna lie i've always dreamed of having the u87 i even used my neumann tla 103 and tried to get more of a u87 sound so you know i don't know man i just i'm just gonna try out a full comparison of, of different microphones to see which one sounds closest to the real thing or if not better you know my, maybe this microphone sounds better than the u87 who knows so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit that like button for all the videos that i'm going to do and let me know in the comments what you want to see next make sure you guys follow me on instagram tiktok twitter link in the description you guys stay safe peace